So by that intro, you might be thinking, what is so wrong about the anvil? Like, is it really that bad? Well, by itself, it isn't the worst thing in the world, but when you combine it with enchanting, this block makes enchanting so, so ridiculous. And it just de-incentivizes the player from ever using the enchantment table to actually enchant their items and go about other means. <sighs> and those other means are a lot better than using the table. And not just enchanting, the anvil itself is rather lame. On November 18th, 2011, the enchantment table was added to Minecraft. This was the only way to enchant your items, and it was a very good one at that. All you have to do is get some bookshelves and levels, and you would be able to enchant your items. And these enchantments were very much slight enhancements to your tools. And these enchantments were viewed as temporary buffs, as at this time, there was no way to repair your enchanted tools. So. While you had them, you felt great, and when you didn't, it was fine because the whole point was to get new tools and better yourself. It was this constant cycle of trying to better yourself and survive the wild and to build what you could with the tools that you had. And then, just a year later, they added anvils. They had the ability to repair your tools and items, and anvils would allow you to combine enchanted books with tools to get the enchantments onto said tools. Now, this wouldn't really be a problem, as enchanted books mainly came from enchantment tables. There wasn't some overpowered way of getting enchantment books, because man, that would just be crazy. While villager trading was a relatively old feature of Minecraft, it wasn't so easy to get the right enchantment books as you had to make a whole bunch of new villagers just to have a chance of getting the right enchantments that you wanted from a librarian. And you didn't even have the choice whether it'd be a librarian or not. But comes 1.14, the village and pillage update, where you're able to get any sort of villager you want with ease. While this is very nice and a very big quality of life, it changed a lot about Minecraft and one of its cores being mending. But We'll get to that later. Just as a whole, being able to get whatever enchantment book you want out of a villager, so long as you constantly re-roll the guy, means you can get whatever the heck you want. Granted, it's still a lot of work, but it's a lot easier than having to combine multiple tools from an enchantment table, to the point where you even wonder why you even would use the enchantment table once you get a villager trading hall set up. Now, the main problem with this is, getting enchantment books from villager trading halls shows how terrible the enchantment table as a whole is. The enchantment table is filled with a lot of RNG as to what enchantments you'll end up getting. Take for instance, I want to make a diamond sword but not have knockback 2 on it. So I'll go through all the three different options, level 1, level 2, level 3. Ideally, you want to get level 3 because they'll have, let's say I'm breaking 3. You enchant it. Oh no, knockback 2 was one of those random enchantments that was also added onto it. This extends with just getting Bane of Arthropods because we all know every Minecraft player wants to get Bane of Arthropods on their sword and just a whole bunch of other random enchantments this affects swords or tools if you don't want silk touch if you want fortune and then just having to constantly re-roll to get whatever enchantment you want you may as well be spending that time re-rolling getting a villager that will infinitely give you that same enchantment of when you want it and you will always have it rather than just having to randomly go through with the enchantment table and hope you get what you want because a lot of these enchantments are viewed as necessary things now it isn't just some temporary buff because we're able to give these tools eternal life with mending. Which, by the way, not only do enchantment tables give you less enchantments and are more random, villagers are able to give you enchantments that not even the enchantment table can give you because villagers are able to give you some treasure enchantments. So the enchantment table is in this really sad state of why would you ever use it? And wait, hold on. I think someone's knocking at the door. To put it shortly, anvils are just one of the most outdated things in Minecraft, and in combination with mending. Like, let me ask you something. When was the last time you wanted to repair your tool with an anvil? You still thinking? Yeah, it probably was a long time ago. Maybe the first elytra you got, maybe the first diamond pickaxe you got in your world, because you haven't gotten mending yet. But there's this whole thing of mending being a quality of life improvement. Well, it is so much to the point where people don't want to repair their tools in the anvil. Now, 
let's quickly go over some improvements that I think would remedy this. Number one, get rid of the too expensive inside of anvils. It doesn't matter. If people want to spend 40 levels on their tools, just let them do it. There's no reason that this arbitrary limitation is in here. It's outdated and from a very old stance of Minecraft. Minecraft isn't like that anymore. Get rid of the XP cap. Number two, if you're repairing an item, it doesn't make sense why there's an, an experience level requirement for it. It should just be the material itself. Because at that point, if your tool doesn't even have any enchantments on it, you might as well just make a new one. Also, this doesn't have to be a change at all. I just thought it'd be a little nice. When you're naming an item in an anvil, it'd be nice if it didn't cost a level. So, like I mentioned before, one of my main gripes with the enchantment table is just how random it was. Now, regardless of how implementation may be, I've always thought of having some sort of item that you find across the world to be a way to influence the enchantment table as to what enchantment you get would be something very fun, being that the inventor that get the item would be fun, reduce the amount of randomness. Sort of the same direction that Mojang is taking in the new villager rebalances. So what if we applied the same sort of logic to the enchantment table? Let's say around the world there's enchantment runes. These runes would function identically to armor templates where they're easily renewable, but if you find one of them, you're able to, you know, keep making them. These runes would highly influence the enchantment table to roll for that specific enchantment. So then this reduces randomness. Or maybe we can use chiseled bookshelves for that purpose. If you have enough enough of that one enchantment book inside of the chiseled bookshelf around the enchantment table, it'll influence it to pick that enchantment over others. This is the most perfect idea, but this gives some sort of exploration and a nice alternative to what we have now. That way, each system has its pros and cons. Enchantments still being a little random, but you are able to influence it if you have these certain things, and it's a lot faster to set up than a villager trading farm, whereas with a villager trading farm, you have to set up a lot of stuff, but you are guaranteed of what you want. So I know the tone for this video is rather different than the other ones, but I kind of wanted to try something new, incorporate a little more comedy within um, my, my scripts here. If you could ever be so kind, drop a subscription. It mean the world to me. No live stream this week. I'm going to be very busy. So maybe next week. And yeah. Leave a like, drop a comment down below as to what you think and if I'm crazy. So, with that being said, over and out. Peace.